Let's cover up quickly the new Photoshop updates. First, we got the new contextual text bar. For example, on a blank canvas, it's gonna appear like this. Import the image with the taskbar. After you upload your image, it's gonna add new options. In this situation, you got the options to reflect the image. And then after you place your image, you can select the subject, remove background, invert selection, or you can go to the new adjustment layers really fast. You also can pin the toolbar, hide the toolbar, and customize it. And not but least, when you wanna type in some text, this handy taskbar is going to appear under the text where you can change the font the size and the colors. They also updated the gradient tool. And look at this, this is the new live gradient, which basically works exactly the same way as in Adobe Illustrator. And you can also pull this back and forth. When you see the mouse arrow looking like this, you can click on the live gradient and it's gonna add another dot with another color. You can double click, switch up the color. They also did an update on the adjustment layers. You can scroll down and you can see all the adjustment layers are under each other. And if you scroll up, we got some new presets going on. Click on more. And by the way, you don't need to click on the thumbnail. If you move your cursor on the thumbnail, it is going to change automatically the preset by previews. So for example, I like this warm filter. I'm gonna click on it. And here in the layers is going to appear as a non-destructive layer where I can basically double click and re-edit the filter. And of course, we got a new handy tool, which is the new remove tool. And I'm gonna uncheck remove after each stroke so I can paint, for example, on this lamp. So this way it's gonna select the zone, click, press and hold shift, create a perfect line. I'm gonna go all the way down. After you selected the object, all you need to do is click on the check mark here and it's gonna make it disappear. Now I'm gonna check it back and I'm gonna zoom in and correct the little errors. You really need to understand how to correct these errors after removal. So first I'm gonna remove these two lines like that and I'm gonna connect these two together. Check this out. Worked flawlessly and not but least we got the new generative fill which is only available in Photoshop beta if you want to know how to access Photoshop beta generative fill you can click on the upper right corner and watch that tutorial as well in this scenario I'm gonna go and select the lasso tool and I'm gonna select this lamp and we got this new taskbar here with the generative fill I'm gonna click on it and here you can type in whatever you want I'm gonna go with lamp click on generate and look at that, we got a new lamp. And on the right side, we got some variation as well. You can click on and select lamps. And of course, it is going to match the environment. You also can click on the generate again to generate new lamps. And we got new options. Now take that in mind that this AI uses images only from Adobe stock. So it's really limited, but it's really effective at the same time. And these are all the updates in Photoshop 2023. Thanks for watching.